Hey everybody, Common Villager here. Welcome back to Daggerfall Unity. We are in Belmoth, where we rested in last episode. We are currently making our way uh, around the Eliac Bay, closer to our destination, which is the Dragon Tail Mountains. Of course, I don't want to put this part in perspective too much because it's still a long ways before we'll get there but we've been doing a lot of traveling and I want to my the idea I have is to uh, uh, keep traveling and maybe you know do some quests in each territory and get some more uh, gold and more experience as we go along and make our way to skirts uh, barrel I've heard I, I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know if it's supposed to appear only in the main quest, I, but we'll find out. We'll, we'll see if we can discover it anyway. I'm pretty sure we can. Um, but we have a more serious issue to discuss. I think it might have been the episode before last where I had uh, contracted like canthropy. Well, not really contracted it, but... Um, I guess I, I forgot what it says on UASP, but um, even though on the screen it says I'm healthy, if I try to travel somewhere, like say if I try to go to this temple right here, it well never mind, it's not, not doing it now. I don't know if I've waited too long or not, but I'm gonna try to go to see it someone at a temple or something because I really don't want to turn into a, a lycanthrope or whatever it's called because there are some serious consequences for being a werewolf um, even though you do get some stat bonuses which is an upside of it there's also a downside to it which is of course well I say of course but what I'm trying to say is uh, one of the biggest uh, downfalls of it, in my opinion, is that you have to feed every so often. That means you have to kill either an NPC or like a town guard or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it says. So I'm going to see if I can get healed. I'm not sure exactly who I need to see. I think there's someone back here who I can talk to about that. We'll see about this guy. No, get a quest. No. No. Maybe it's one of these guys. Buy spells. Cure disease. You have no diseases. Okay. Really? Well. Uh huh. Did I actually get it or. I mean, I, I guess I'm fine after all. I don't know. Maybe I worry too much. Anyway, let me just reload this. <laughs> But I know that I, it had been a while since uh, I had gotten it. Because uh, I can't remember the last time. Or where I was uh, escorting someone when I had uh, had the dream. But according to the temple guy, I, I, I don't know. There is, uh, I don't know if I actually did get it because you're supposed to get like a letter or something saying that you have uh, like people have been uh, barring or locking their doors at night because of you or something um, and it basically starts a quest you can either get yourself cured or live out your life as a lycanthrope which I don't want to do so we'll see what happens anyway so the plan for this episode was to go to Shalgora, so we'll go ahead and get started. And it's now yeah, it's not saying that I won't survive or whatever. I forgot what it said before, but something like you're not healthy enough to you know continue. Do you, do you want to continue or whatever or something? But it it's not saying it this time. I don't know if I've waited too long. Or what's going on exactly, but either way, we'll find out. I, you know, I, did, I didn't know much about lycanthropy and getting, you know, all that stuff. 
I know a little more about it now. You can get it from werewolves, of course. And once you have the dream, you have 72 hours to get it cured. If you don't get it cured, you become a permanent lycanthropy. There's still a way to get cured of it, but there's... it's You gotta go through this kind of a lengthy quest line where you have to visit someone in the temple and then they'll tell you about someone who survived lycanthropy or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. So don't don't quote me on that by the way, but yeah. Okay, so we are officially in uh Shagora. So let's keep making our way there. And we may stop and do some quests just uh just so I can discover a few things here and there. Just to uh not be heading to Dragon Tail Mountains like immediately, but be slowly heading our way over there anyway. But yeah, it's uh, I was kind of worried. I was like, I don't know, man. I I don't want to get it if I have to kill. Let me see if I can real quick like pull up that page on US USP. I think I still have it pulled up here. <clears throat> okay, so it says. Uh, Uh, well, let me read a, the part where it talks about getting infected. Okay, I'm making sure I didn't capture my web browser for a minute. Okay. Uh, it says, although lycanthropy, lycanthropy is thought of as a disease, it is not affected by weakness and resistances like in other games. Only vampires are truly immune to infection. When you're injured by a lycanthrope, I would say a, like a werewolf or whatever, there is a 0.6 chance that you will contract the disease. So I guess it's kind of a rare thing to actually get it. But, uh, besides, oh, it also says you cannot get uh, infected at level 1, but it also says the only sign that you have been affected will occur the first time you rest after contracting the disease. A shortcut scene will, a short scene will play while the voice says you dream of the moon and of a man who is less than a man. And after that it says 72 hours after you have contracted the disease you will turn permanently into a lycanthrope. Until then, the disease can be cured using a potion, spell, or a temple healer. Well, the temple healer said I didn't have a disease, so... I don't know what really is going on here. Either way, uh... We'll just continue our journey either way. So, it says here, The, si the shining sun reflects off something partially concealed in the ground. You make out of the form of the weapon. Now, this is a trap. Well, you know, it's a trap of some kind to hurt or defame a person. Better, let, better to let things be, of course, yes. So, let's go around here to the entrance. I guess we'll, uh... Might even see if... We haven't done a Fighter's Guild quest in a while. I may go... Do a Fighter's Guild quest. Yeah, there's a Fighter's Guild over here. So, how am I doing on my inventory? I do have some things. I I got ingredients and I thought about saving them for potions, but I think I might sell the ingredients just to take off a little weight on my cart. So anyway, let's see here. Yeah. Well, we'll go. Yeah, we'll go to the town square first, and then kind of discover a few shops here and there. Okay, usually, or maybe I'm mistaken, I thought usually there was an ingredient shop, but maybe not. Okay, well, anyway, let's go over here to the Fighters Guild, we'll pick up a quest. Alrighty, so... Let us come over here and we will, let's see, where where is, okay, guild quest, there we go. And we'll see what we have here. Uh, no. Okay. 
a what? A bag of money here with a note. Someone dropped a bag of money here with a note saying it needs to get across town. You'll be paid a bit for doing it. Want to have a nice walk across Shalgor? Oh, I guess. I've never done this one before. It's kind of different. All right. Take it. They just said it needs to get there by tomorrow, so I guess that's 24 hours from now. I don't know. They didn't say when. You'll be paid by Rodden Gerhard, the person you're delivering to. Look for him at the Ash Yam, or Ash Ham, Ash Ham, whatever. Resident, enjoy the fresh air while you're out there. What are you trying to say? I do too much work? Huh? Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, okay, what do we got here? As you leave the guild hall, you see an elderly woman waiting outside. She sees the bag in your possession and speaks, Sir, I can prove it to you, but the bag is mine. It was stolen from my house last night, and it contains all the money my nephew saved up for the rest of the month. Food, food, fuel, everything, it all comes from that gold. Please, would you give it back to me? My family won't vi uh, won't visit until next week, and I don't know what I would do without it. Tears form in her eyes as she speaks. The choice is yours. Well, I work for the Fighters Guild, and if you have a problem with that, take it up with the Fighters Guild. It's not my problem. I'm sorry. I'm not going <laughs> to risk that. You decline, and she cries out mournfully, hobbing off into another direction. You need to deliver this money to the Ashton. Yes. Okay, I've never had to deal with that before, but uh, I guess there's a first time for everything, right? So, hello, could you direct me to the Asham, Asham, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, yes, this place, yes. Oh, really, what if I talk to you a little more nicely, huh? Oh, really, you, you, you absolutely don't know where this place is, do you? I don't know. I guess I mistaked you for a nice person, but apparently not. Let's talk to this lady who looks just like you. Maybe she's a little bit nicer. Well, she sort of looked just like you. Whatever. Hello, hello. Oh, okay, okay. How about... You're right, you're right. You, you don't know anything. That's fine. And third time's a charm. Let's see. Oh, come on, y'all. It is a big town, I understand, but come on. Oh, very nice. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so... Oh, it's like right here. Whoa, okay. <laughs> uh, right. Somewhere nearby. Wait a minute. Oh, is this house up here? Here we go, right here. Right. And I am to speak to... Rodin Gerhardt, okay. You're not Rodin. You're Rod and Gerhardt, the man I'm supposed to see. Uh, you got the money, have you? Reliable as ever. The Fighters Guild is. Take a bit of off. Uh, take a bit of the pot. By the way, the Thieves Guild prizes people who know discretion. Remember that. Oh, really? I didn't understand what was going on at the time. But I, you know, even though. It kind of sounds like I did a bad thing. I mean, I really feel like if I would have uh, gave that money to the lady, then I, I don't know. I kind of feel bad in her stead, but I don't know. I can't just give a, a, uh, a stranger a quest item because it's not. Anyway, let's try to do something a little more interesting. <laughs> Okay, some conjurer took to a cave that sends up golem. Oh, I don't know about golems. 
Maybe not. Okay, where, where, uh, why, where, for thingy, so. Ugh. The cov convent of Salute. Well, let's do it. Why not? Okay, so. We need the poor brute dead in 11 days. All right. So I need to go to the convent of Shalu Sahuliba. Whatever it's called, but uh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can okay it's right here isn't it so that's south but southwest I think so let's see here we're going north we're going the wrong way um let's see here let's just go to the south gate going to mute my mic for just a second and I'll be right back. Alrighty. Um, anyway. Oh, it's getting dark. But we, it shouldn't be too far away. I don't have any Magicka to spare, so... Ooh. Oh, I have arrived at my destination. Okay, very cool. I can't see a thing, so hopefully uh, I'll be able to find it here in the dark. Uh, maybe camp? What time? It, it's only 18. It's only like 7 o'clock. I can't even see the place. It's too dark. Yeah, we... Uh, Oh man, this kind of sucks. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to camp either way. Just so I can see what's going on here. And of course, there are enemies nearby. Oh, hello. Burglar. I'll take this stuff. Oh, I got some other stuff I haven't put up yet either. Alright, let's try to make it daytime. Uh, okay, and really only about a few more hours. Of course. Wait, what? What is going on here? Okay, of course my game crashed. Okay, I'll be right back. <coughs> oh, well, I thought I'd paused you. Okay, I've been having problems uh, with Daggerfall Unity for some reason. It's been, well, it's been doing that, and then it's been, uh, uh, I don't even know what's going on. I may have to just forfeit the quest or whatever. Because I'm having trouble here. I 
I don't know why it's giving me so much trouble, but it has been for sure. Just going to stop and save real quick in case something like falling through the map happens again. But we're right here, so it shouldn't. Okay, and then we're going to try to camp again because I have no idea where this thing is. <coughs> Alright, let's uh, save real quick like... Just need to rest a few hours here. All right, so should be somewhere around here. We just need to find a little. I still can't see very well. The ground's so dark. Just uh, maybe like two hours. Alright, where are we? Okay, here it is right here. Sometimes there's these little bitty things and they're hard to see. So, just save on the outside in case this is really dangerous. Alrighty. Right, so... Um, ooh, I hear a heartbeat. Not good. Not good at all. I think that's the harpy right there. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We cannot fight a harpy right now. So we are looking for a werebore, werebeast thingy, majigger. Secret door. Open another harpy. Oh, we've got some loot here, though. Oh, two harpies. Lovely. Uh, let's see here. Let's go in here. Basically get lost. I do hear a, a weird beasty thing. Oh, there's a pink right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think the harpy's on our trail, isn't it? Probably. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, crap. Uh-huh. Well, I was trying to heal myself. Just rest for a little bit. There we go. That'll be, that'll be fine. Oh, I really need to get a water breathing spell. I really don't want to swim if I don't have to. Oh, no, another amp is not yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, rest a little bit more. About three hours. I get my slider over there. When you're sort of pressed for time, I recommend not always healing till full. Oh, hello, slaughterfish. Okay, let's see here. Um, yeah, let's heal up. But I recommend not always healing to full because you can gradually rest and not have to heal to full like that. Um, okay. So I can come up here. Yeah, that kind of looks funny. Okay. 
good. So let's uh, see what's down here. I don't know if we have to come down here or not, but uh, sometimes it's necessary to get to the other parts of the dungeon. Okay. There's a door over here. Oh, hello. Uh, uh, oh, I thought I said loot bag. Never mind. Let's just get back up to uh, up here. And before you, well, you know, it's, I guess being a high elf, I'm a lot more in shape or something. I don't know because I know, like, I was uh, playing as a Dunmer woman and I got to a part in a dungeon where I had to swim. And. Well, maybe a little bit longer. There we go. That's a little bit better. And her uh, breath meter went down a lot faster. Of course, maybe there wasn't any difference, but I, I'm pretty sure there was. It, it seems like maybe since I'm high elf, that's the reason why. I don't know. So we need to find this where thingy the jigger. Oh. Okay. I don't know why I can move all fast all of a sudden. Is I wonder if I really am a Let me check out I wanna check out something. Okay. Well, apparently I am a werewolf. <laughs> I, it doesn't show right now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, because I can really attack fast. Oh boy. The only problem is I haven't got the letter yet, though. It's like, man, why... Why can I? I was, I was noticing that before. Like, why can I attack so fast and everything? So now I understand why. I can carry a, a lot more than I used to, also. Crazy. Well, I may end up having to go through all the quests of being a werewolf, so I guess I am technically a werewolf now. Because. The stats are proof that I am. You will get a boost in these different stats. Only problem is, to live as a werewolf, I'm going to have to eat like a werewolf. I'm going to have to kill people, and I don't want to do that. Hopefully, the quest will get started soon enough, and I can find a cure. Although, I kind of like being a werewolf. But I feel like it kind of goes against uh, Merrick's character as he's kind of a more peaceful high elf than most, I guess you could say. <laughs> There's nothing in this room. But I was noticing that. I was like, well, wait a minute. Why in the world am I so fast? But now I understand. I understand everything now. It's really cool, though, being a werewolf. It makes the game a lot easier. Maybe a little bit too easy, but... Because I can kill stuff pretty fast now. My strength is at 100, so that's uh, crazy. Uh, okay, that, there's the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and reset my anchor. I don't know where them harpies are at, but I don't want to go looking for them either. So, because I think when I... Yeah, leave you two alone. But we need to find the objective and get the where beastie... Okay, I hear her. Hmm. I hear a secret door, but I don't know where the secret door is. Hmm. Let me get back here real quick and uh, look at the map. So, we're right here. Right, so there's that room. We can't, that's the entrance. Okay, so. Alright. Go down here. Down to those rooms. We've been underwater there. Oh, there's a room under there that seems to stand out by itself. 
Well, let's see, like, if we go this way... Okay, that'll lead off there, won't it? So, okay, I need to go straight and to the right over here, so... And we are kind of pressed for time here, because we're looking for a certain uh, werewolf. Like ourselves, <laughs> apparently. I didn't want to use my elven blade on everything. Hello, Mr. Bear. I'm a lot... St oh! Haha, <laughs> this must be the quote-unquote werebeast. Everyone is afraid of just an ordinary grizzly bear. Of course. Alrighty. Uh, well, since I can carry a butt-ton of stuff, might as well grab everything I can. And sell it. Hello, Mr. Bat. You're gonna die very quickly. Uh, only thing I, I'm kind of scared of is I don't know when I'm going to turn into a werewolf. I'm kind of afraid to lead a life of crime, but I don't know what to do, you know? I'm like, uh, do I... Yeah, I don't know. Let's let's explore a little bit more since we've completed our objective. Let's get my elven blade out again. Oh, that... I resisted that, but that would have hurt in normal circumstances. Stances. <laughs> I can speak English today. Great. Okay, yeah. Well, let's go in here. Yeah, the imp's, di imp's dying really quick. Like, they don't stand a chance. Oh, and I'm out of magicka, which is not good. Let's save. Let's not be too reckless. Oh, I hear another hopper. I don't. I think uh, if you have a dwarf or nope, nah. Even werewolves don't mess with harpies unless they're foolish enough to do so, which would be bad because uh, we can't attack them with our current weapon. Well, uh, we could spend uh, quite a bit of time in the dungeon, but I don't know where else we could go here, and I would rather not. So yeah, let's just uh, find a place where we can rest. Get up here. We'll get some of our magicka back. Just enough to teleport out of here. Uh, I'll access my wagon outside. Okay. I got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Got some ingredients, weapons, and stuff. So, I hope, uh, whatever letter I'm supposed to get, I hope I get it soon. So, let us, uh, let's see, go ahead and save real quick. We'll head back to Shalgora, and then I think after this we'll go ahead and, uh, start making our way to another, uh, territory or, you know, kingdom, whatever it's called. Alright, no, 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 no. You know how it's done. Come on now. You've done it plenty of times. There we go. There we go. So, I was afraid of this. I was like, you know, I didn't even know it was that serious. But it is really cool to have all that power, but I would rather not have it if I could help it. Because <laughs> I wasn't planning on being a savage beast. So... Before we do anything, I want to, since we're, since I'm recording, I'm going to read up a little bit on being a werewolf. So, uh, the topic it's it, on uh, USB talks about living as a lycanthrope. If you arrive in a settlement while in were form, which is, of course, I guess when you're transformed into a werewolf, the streets will be vacant. Only when you transform back this will the citizens reappear. The citizens will not vanish if you transform into your werewolf while in town. You can still rent a room while in were form, but cannot buy or sell goods or talk to NPCs. So I guess the ends don't care what you look like as long as you give them their gold. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, a few other things. Advantages. 40 plus to strength, speed, agility, and endurance. These boosts will not raise your attributes past 100. These changes apply to your human form as well. And that's why we've got such a crazy boost in all these attributes. 
Uh, also, plus 30 to hand-to-hand, -hand, climbing, running, stealth, swimming, jumping, and critical strike skills. So it's pretty cool. Access uh, spells, access to the ability of Lycanthropy, which allows you to change between your normal and Lycanthropy forms once a day. Special traits, all Lycanthropes are immune to diseases. Immune to iron and steel weapons while in wear form. Now that's pretty cool. Since uh, most humanoid enemies, especially guards, only attack with these types of weapons, you're immune to their attacks. You can still be harmed by spells and hand-to-hand -hand attacks. But there are also disadvantages. Uh, the disadvantage says you will feel the need to hunt innocents at least twice a month. Okay, not as bad as I thought. More specifically, every 15 days. 14 days plus the day you start counting. This means you'll have to kill at least one NPC or guard in a town every 15 days. If you don't, your max health will gradually decrease until it bottoms out at 4 HP. That's what sucks about it. Once you have killed a peasant or guard, your max health will return to normal until you feel the need to hunt again. And here's the next one. Disadvantage, it says, during every full moon, you will automatically change into your wear form and be unable to change back for the duration of the day. However, you will not change into your wear form during a fast travel. You will not change back automatically on the next day. You must use the shape shift spell in your spell book to return to your humanoid form. See the calendar article, okay, to, to learn how the phases of the moon are calculated in the game, okay. And also, another disadvantage, once a year you'll get a letter from a werewolf hunter stating that he has marked you as his next target. He will give you an option to either cure yourself or be hunted by his henchmen, a group of knights. And the last uh, disadvantage is you're unable to access your inventory or pick up items while in werewolf form. So, yeah. <sighs> anyway. Let's go turn in that quest. <laughs> so, apparently I am a werewolf. I was not realizing what was going on. I waited too long, but we're going to take the good with the bad and uh, deal with it. Uh, I, it's pretty awesome being a werewolf. I mean, geez, you're really fast. I mean, my speed is, is incredible. Let's see. It's too late to... Well, we could probably loiter by the Fighters Guild until it's time for them to open, I guess, instead of renting a room. Uh, okay, yeah, it's just right over here, and we'll just loiter for only only need to loiter for like five hours. So let's uh, okay, we'll loiter for three hours, and then we'll loiter for another two hours. All right, and let's go in and turn in our quest. Good job, loot killer. Enjoy your gold. Of course. Right. Alright, so what time of day is it? It's sorry to 11. Hmm. I guess before we leave, uh, Shalgora will go ahead and saddle up our pony. So we do have a few things in our wagon. We just need to find an ingredient seller and, a, or, and also maybe a pawn shop of sorts. Yeah. Alright. So... Well, there are armories nearby. Let's go there first, I guess, and we'll go see about selling some stuff. Alright. Adequate construction. Let's see what the other shop is like. What I've noticed about the big towns and the town squares, there's usually a, like, be a smith, like over here, but it also across the street, which is, seems to be the normal thing. 
skillfully crafted lists uh, go to adequate construction we might get a better deal maybe I don't know I don't know if that's actually a thing it's just my guess on it alrighty so yeah let's uh, sell stuff nothing we really want to keep just a bunch of iron for the most part all right okay 400 gold in our pocket very good might just check around for weapons and armor that we may like it'd be nice to find a nice dwarven piece if we got lucky enough which would definitely help but uh, probably not not in this we, we'll go to the other shop and see real quick yeah man I can move pretty fast let's go in here we'll check out this shop uh, dwarven stuff here I don't think we're high enough level to even buy a dwarven stuff yet but anyway no okay that's fine so uh, let's see general store so we still got like clothing and stuff don't we so and ingredients what shops are nearby so there are a handful of shops up here so we'll kinda take a look around and see if we can find we need to find an ingredient shop and maybe a pawnbroker we got some smiths around here okay another bookstore there's a little store over here probably a general store oh another bookstore got a lot of book stores around here okay here's a pawn shop we can sell some mist stuff here all right and probably a good thing to do is to, oh I can also sell clothes here too probably a good thing to note is like if you I want to keep the cloaks because I like to change my cloak every now and then so be careful what I sell here all right and the robes I'm gonna get rid of shirts and stuff too because I don't normally change my shirt or nothing usually because it's covered up by my armor anyway okay we got other little things to sell here yeah get a little bit of gold there we go all right cool so so I guess good to sell while you, you can So uh, according to the guide, uh, once a year we'll get a letter saying, uh, you know, from from a uh, whatever, some kind of faction or whatever that, you know, we're being hunted, get yourself cured. The only thing is, I can't cure myself. There's a special way to cure it. And I feel like Merrick would want to stay as a werewolf. I was foolish enough to not get cured, but I didn't know what I was doing in the first place, so I kind of forgive myself for that. Yeah, this uh, game is something else. Let me tell you, you can become a werewolf or, or also like a werebore or something like that. I don't know what the difference is. And also a vampire. I don't know what else. Uh, but yeah, that's just a few, <laughs> a few things anyway just checking something real quick okay we have run pretty long in this episode so let's find that east gate of course I have to look where it's at it's down here isn't it yeah so in next episode I guess we'll continue heading east trying to make our way around the Iliac Bay toward the Dragon Tail Mountains and see if we can discover 
the Scourge Barrow, which is uh, where we need to go for a quest in the future. But I would like to discover the place first. Because I'm not really sure exactly where it's at. I have an idea where it's at. And I don't know if it'll actually... What I might do is stop and wait rest. And if I can access... If it gives me the location on my map, then we'll, then we'll for sure go there. Uh, because we'd have to do it anyway. So anyway, let's look at our map once again. So I guess uh, we'll make our way to uh, Char Ridge or whatever it's called in next episode. And then we'll be getting into Anticlair. And we may stop here and there and do a few quests. But we're doing pretty good. We got a good amount of gold. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, one thing I don't know if I mentioned is, uh, I'm pretty sure I have at one point, but that your gold actually weighs something. So I'm going to put about 4,000 into my wagon. And there it is. And we lost a little bit of weight. Now, of course, being a power crazy werewolf that I am, I, I can carry a lot more, but it's good to have that carrying capacity either way. Since gold, even though you can buy stuff with it, it's basically dead weight. But that's going to be the end of it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a comment and let me know what you think. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and click subscribe. I upload videos every week. Anyway, y'all, take care out there. Have a good one, and I will see y'all next time.